because I believe Islam is the only religion left in this world because every other religion has lost its value. How, how so? So in Christianity, there's 45,000... Yeah, I did walk. It was a three-hour walk. <laughs> 35,000 steps? 35,000 steps. So you counted your steps? Yeah. Just something in me told me that Jesus was not God. I knew not too long to understand it was, it was the truth. So in three days before Ramadan, I went to the masjid. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time you're watching from, I'm so glad to have you. Oh yeah. So this 40 years old guy that is not a Muslim trekked three hours to go to the mosque and this happened. Uh, before everyone leaves, we actually have this youngster, his name is Ibrahim. Uh, he reverted some time back and I want him to come to the stage for a second uh, and show us that this is what these types of gatherings do. This young brother, how are you doing? Want to tell him? Want to tell them how far you came from and where you came from? So, Livermore. I came from Livermore. Did you walk? walk? Yeah, I did walk. It was a three-hour walk. <laughs> yeah. Did you walk? Yeah. MashaAllah. Takbir. Allah. The youngster walked three hours. How old are you? I'm 14. 14? Mm -hmm. Okay, why did you walk? Hasanat. Hasanat? Mm -hmm. How much Hasanat? It's about 35,000. <laughs> 35,000 steps? 35, steps. So you counted your steps? Yeah. You get to Hasanat? Yeah. MashaAllah. And how did you hear about the program? Uh, online. I found it online, yeah. And when did you revert? March 19th, 2023. Love, wow. Literally one year ago. Yeah. Give him a round of applause. Yeah. 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 If you don't mind sharing, just within you know a short time, how and why did you revert? Because I believe Islam is the only religion left in this world, because every other religion has lost its value. Wow. How, how so? So in Christianity, there's 45,000, 50,000 denominations, maybe. And, and in Christianity, there is so many different contradictions. You can't even count them. For example, when I was young, maybe 9, 10 or so, I was always taught, Jesus is God. Wow, the blah. But even when I was that young, I knew Jesus was not God. Just something in me told me that Jesus was not God. I knew he was still important, okay. but there was something inside of me that just was different. I was always drawn to Islam, even from a young age. Mm, I was nice. researching it. It took me maybe not too long to understand it was, it was the truth. So in three days before Ramadan, I went to the masjid, took my shahada. Allah, Allah, Allah. Thank you. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Takbir. Allahu Akbar. Takbir. Allahu Akbar. But Ibrahim, this is your home. Um, not only this masjid, any masjid that you walk into, you, you're always going to be welcome. Uh, you're always welcome to come visit us in Michigan, and we'll open our doors for you as well. Okay. We love you, and everyone here that's sitting here loves you as well. And may Allah keep you strong, keep all of us strong as well. You started late, but you're way ahead of us already, because you have no sins. So may Allah bless you, reward you, keep you moving strong, inshaAllah. Zakallah khair, habibi. Give him takbir. Takbir. Allah bless Ibrahim and bless all the other. Yeah, that's a, that's a, no, that's a great point. That's a great point. That's a great point. Uh, that's a motherhood stuff, not a brother stuff. That's a mother. A brother would say, "Yeah, walk back. You can figure it out, right?" Uh, but we'll make sure you get your ride back, inshallah. And if worst case scenario, that mother's gonna pay for your Uber anyways, inshallah. Allah bless you. Allah rewards you. Inshallah. Oh my goodness! I wish I I go to. You know, that, that there was one woman I spoke in the background and her, her voice was quite very, very low. I don't know whether she was trying to say, if she walked back to his house, 35,000, uh, maybe I'm just imagining or I'm, I'm just thinking about it that way. But somebody made a side comment from the audience and the man was like, wow, don't worry, the mothers will do this, will do that. I was like, oh, I wish I heard what she said. So this young guy... 14 years old guy actually walked down to the mosque. He didn't take a bus, he didn't take a car, he didn't take any means of transportation to get himself to the mosque. He actually took a walk to the mosque. Three hours journey to the mosque. That was so incredible. When I heard that, I was like, wow, what gave him that, you know, that boldness what gave him that vein that okay let's try this how long was he not tired i'm sure it was good. definitely you will be thirsty why taking the walk you drink water but how can you walk three thousand like 
three hours and he said he was even counting his steps before he got to the mosque my question is that are there no mosques around this area or i don't know is there a specific box his spirit directed him to and why why is it that the distance between his house and the mosque is three hours and the most funny thing about it in which i find so weird and beautiful is when he said he was counting his steps and his steps were 35,000 steps to get to the masjid, the mosque. So they asked him, why did he convert to Islam? Because he converted to Islam a few months ago and this was, no, this video was held a few months after his conversion from Christianity. He left Christianity to Islam and he was like, he believed that Islam is the only religion because every other, all other religion have lost their value. But him saying that Christianity has lost its value or other religion, why will you speak for other religions? Like, he was, okay, fine. He was once a Christian, right? Okay, what do you want to talk about? In the, you know, other religion like Jude, uh, Judaism and the rest. Has he ever studied the religion before? You can't just conclude and say all other religions. You can't speak for everything. You can just specify. I, I expected him to specify that, okay, this religion. But he said that all the religions have lost its value. And he spoke about Christianity. To me, I think that, that, that part, he went too far. He went too far. Because you don't believe in something doesn't mean you condemn it totally. He just condemned that religion totally because, yes, now he's not 14 years old, but at least when they gave birth to him, they, they gave birth to him as a Christian, right? So you can't just condemn something totally. But what really marveled me a lot was when he spoke about him trekking to the mosque, using three hours to trek to the mosque. Magnificent, guys. Wow, that was really my blow. I can't, I can't even phantom it, guys. It's just... It's just really weird, but that was an interesting one. That was really good. And, and I love the ending part where that mother spoke something, even though I didn't hear what she said. But that was really interesting. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I really enjoyed Thank you so much for watching. Let me know your thoughts in the comment box. And let's keep this discussion going. Thank you. You guys are my real VVIP. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. And he said when he was a young guy at the age of eight, nine years old, when he was a young guy at the age of eight, nine years old. Oh my goodness. Father, <laughs>